Welcome to Fish to See. We got Chris hooked up with something. I have no idea what it is. This is the first fish we've ever caught doing this. So here it comes, whatever it is. No idea what, we, what he's got. Oh, I hope it's a black sea bass. Did you got your phone? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm so excited that worked. I am beyond, I am over the moon. Don't my I cannot even tell you. Because honestly guys, when I say we've never done this before. Say it serious. We've never done it. And this is the first time we've ever tried it. And uh, some other people might say, well that's pretty easy something, you know, anybody can do. But man, I've never. Beautiful. Fish. Look at the color. There's no need to measure because we know he is big enough. Put him down anyway. Let's, how, how long is it? 16 inches. That's awesome. I got a bit too, just now. Hey, Brian. All right. So just work it up and forth. 16 in the sunshine. Is that not beautiful? Look at the Look colors. Blue. Look at the blue and the. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How's that make you feel? Oh my gosh. I've been, how long? <laughs> five years. You wanted to do it for a years. long time. I've been wanting to do this for years. That one. Five Crane is hooked one. up. Crane is hooked up. Or you, you found the bottom. Oh, dang. See, so you need to work it loose. Got it. Yeah. 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 Lindsay's hooked up. Maybe. Yeah, you are. You you're hooked up. Let's trip it and just don't break it though. I'll drive back around it right now. Another black sea bass. That one may not be a keeper, but we'll measure it. Just if you can't get it loose, green and just trip it. How big does it have to be? Um, what did I say? Thirteen inches. Uh, it's right at it. I'll measure it. Reel it in. He's 13. That's Lindsay's fish. Black sea bass. There you go. You need another one, Lindsay? Yep. See how long cream is. 
Well, I, he reeled it in, so. How many does I say we can keep a piece? I can't remember that part. Okay. A bunch. <sighs> and these are so good to eat. These are delicious. So delicious. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Dark and even. I, I got a board. Let's put it on the board. Lay it down on that and see what it comes to. No nose up against them. And flatten them out. Throw them back. We'll keep more. We'll, we ain't gonna. He's gone. I was like, that shit got a and it was not. That's a big one, ain't it? Oh yeah, that's a big one. Did you get loose, Lindsay? Yeah. Good. I think that'll keep it on the board. Yep. Yep. You measure as big as a tail. It's total length. Hopefully, it's a keeper. It feels kind of small, but you see. We're back at the house now. It got extremely rough out. We was catching black sea bass and uh, wind just changed direction and started coming out of the north like crazy. Ended up having four keeper black sea bass, which I'm happy with that. Just first time ever going out and dropping on a, a wreck like that. It was AR 145 was where we was at. We went down to AR 160 out of Oregon Inlet and the wind and the waves jumped up so tall, it was time to come back in. We came back in and caught some croaker and things like that, a small little fish, nothing worth filming. The sheep's head wasn't biting, the tide was incoming. Typically here at Oregon Inlet on an incoming tide, uh, sheep's head don't bite that great. We're gonna give them another shot tomorrow on an outgoing tide. Hopefully take you with us there. And I'm gonna clean these uh, four sea bass we caught up. So here's the big 16 inch black sea bass that Chris caught today. You see it's got some blue on his forehead. Pretty fish. This is a male, it's got a big hump on his head. Um, I haven't cleaned very many of these. I think this will be the third one I've ever cleaned in my whole life. So we're gonna, I'm gonna scale it and leave the skin on. So it's got a scaler here. See how easy this comes off.
and I think this is one of the prettiest fishes, fish, fishes, in the ocean. Uh, during the day, whenever sunlight hits them, they had to switch out batteries. I got it scaled now, and uh, like I was saying, prettiest, one of the prettier fish in the ocean. Uh, iridescent, just super pretty. Uh, name don't do it justice, just call them black sea bass. These things have a multitude of colors to them. So I have, like I said, this is the third one of these I've cleaned. I want to get every shred of meat off of it I can just because I don't get to eat this fish very often. Hopefully that's getting ready to change because today I feel like I've learned a little bit about how to catch these things and what I need to do to be better prepared next time. So I'm gonna make just pretty much every fish in the ocean you clean exactly the same way and we'll start with a cut. Just right down here. Run that down that way. Then come along. Outline along the backbone. And next cut down towards the spine. I'm going really slow because, like I said, I want every shred of meat. Once I cleaned a few of them, I'm sure I would be faster. I'm going to go all the way through. Uh, we've scaled this fish, so we're going right out the tail. I'm coming right up. Now we're going to break them pin bones. There we go. Oh, clean up the uh, pin bones off of it. A little bit of that. Incredibly firm meat, no, no bloodline, almost translucent looking. You can really see deep down in the meat. I have high expectations out of this. So there's a line of pin bones right here that you're going to take out. My knife's got a dull switching knife. comes that bloodline or the pin bones so all right so that's what it looks like i'm going to clean up the other side of it and these other sea bass exact same way as that i want to edit this video and hopefully get it up in the next few days we're going to try to go sheep's head fishing tomorrow it's supposed to be raining so we'll see how that goes but Stick around with us. This was day two of fishing down here at the Outer Banks, North Carolina. And we're gonna see what the rest of the week holds. We appreciate you sticking around with me. We'll see you next time.